Hello and welcome to Visit Fell Coast. We are perched in a, a brighter spot on Blackpool Promenade and I'm on my way today to the Blackpool Illuminations press preview, so I'm all excited. I'm all excited. It's years since I went to one of these. It's years since they've done one because of COVID. So I'm going to take you with me and we're going to go and have a look at some of the um, side streets in Blackpool because I'm a little bit on the last push because somebody rang me just as I was coming out and I'm going to take a shortcut across the back streets instead of going on the prom. So come with me and we will have a look. We will have a look at somewhere that we don't normally go. So don't forget, make sure that you've subscribed, make sure that you've hit the little bell for notifications and then when I upload the Blackpool Illuminations Press Preview, you will get the notification for it. Let's go see what we can see, see, see. It's a lovely, busy, sunny morning in Blackpool. Bear in mind, I'm, I'm a little bit in the shade with the, with the car and it's saying, the thermometer on the car is saying it's 23 and a half degrees and it's currently 25 past 10 on Thursday and I think it's the 9th, is it? 9th of, of August today. Let's have a look. Oh, Thursday the 10th, sorry, I've got the days wrong again. What a surprise there then. And I thought, <clears throat> rather than going the scenic route and going all the way around the promenade, I thought today that we would go along the back streets and we would go down Lytham Road. Now, I always get Lytham Road and Central Drive mixed up because we all know that I get left and right and everything that's similar in a bit of a, in a, bit of a confusion. But Lytham Road brings you out beautifully for the illumination depot at Squares Gate, which is where I'm, which is where I'm headed this morning. Um, and it's really busy. I didn't expect it to be. I didn't expect it to be quite so busy. In fact, I think we'll cut these traffic lights out, shall we? Here comes the siren, there's always one. I was just gonna say we're off again. We're off again, we're moving. So of course Lytham Road, if I'm right, I'm just wait I've put this out and have on, I'm cheating. Um, I'm just waiting for it to come into view. Yes, I am right. Lytham Road is the one that turns left at the Manchester. And back in the day this used to be a really popular, busy, busy spot in Blackpool, and unfortunately it's a it's a bit it's a bit run down, what can I say? Well, every, everything can't be perfect, can it? Everything can't be perfect. So here we go, we're going to go down here. We're going to turn left. Um, at the Manchester pub. Can you remember the old Manchester, the old Art Deco one? I think actually the old one was nicer than that to look at. I don't know what it's like inside. And the tram lines turn off here at the left to Rigby Road Heritage Tram Depot, which is why the car was going duh, 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 over all the all the junctions and tracks. And that's actually also where the illuminations used to be made back in the day. On the left is Blackpool Football Club, just at the back of there. That's Bloomfield Road. Well, it's Seaside as way actually, but Bloomfield Road turns turns off. It's one of these side roads off. I think it's this next one. <clears throat> um, and in 2010, the new Lightworks depot opened up at Squires Gate on the industrial estate. And it's a fascinating building. I love going to these events. Yeah, that's Bloomfield Road left. So back in the day, this used to be absolutely full of small businesses, shops, all kinds of interesting stuff. And unfortunately, a lot of them are a bit... They're a bit derelict, what can I say? But there's still some, there's still some gems among them. There's still some gems. Nice bathroom shop on the right there. We want a bathroom. Oh God, I wonder what that was then. It's a, it's a sack. Somebody's got the sack. I 
and then we've come up to the junction with Waterloo Road which is quite a busy little shopping shopping land so left is to the M55 and Yeadon Way right is to the Promenade Anton or Tariani's ice cream and we're going to go bump 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 straight on here which is the continuation of Lytham Road oh goodness me bump 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 there's one thing about all these bumps they do slow you down that building we've just passed on the right hand side which is now the South Shore Business Centre used to be a Lido swimming baths and famously when I was about 11 I went swimming there and split my chin open trying to get out of the baths <laughs> and carried on swimming with blood pouring everywhere as you can imagine I would do and I think this is this a no it's not a railway line it must have been one in the back in the day it looks like a, an old railway line but on our right there we can just see the cars parked is Blackpool Central car park which is the huge huge car park that extends right the way down to um, Eden Way where you come into town and down here we're getting into a complete contrast because this is where all the lovely houses are well some of them Blackpool is absolutely full of streets of beautiful houses a lot of these on here <coughs> are still individual houses some have been converted into flats and this end of Lytham Road is actually very nice a lot of really interesting architecture and really nice buildings so this is another one of those long straight original roads that the forefathers of Blackpool laid down when they were planning the planning the town and all the little little roads come off it that's Manda's house we've just passed on the right and I think this is is this King Arnold? I've not seen that. I've not seen that finished. I think that's King Arnold. It, Arnold, King Edward's and Queen Mary's, or whatever they call it now. They amalgamated two private schools, didn't they? This is the lovely number one St. Luke's on the corner there. We'll just pass with the little fan at the top. Where my lovely friend Claire Smith lives. And we're just about, not far off quite near to Squares Gate Lane. Turn left at these traffic lights, I'm hoping we get through them before they turn red. Turn left at these traffic lights and this is, oh go on, what's it called? Harrow Side. And there's a nice little shopping, shopping centre down there. There's a nice little shopping centre down there and some quite nice eateries and and shops. That's Louis Horrocks Park on the right hand side that we've just passed. Quite nice properties. It's very, very nice on here. Very nice. And this is the health centre on the right hand side. I've been there once or twice. It's like the walk-in clinic at Fleetwood. Um, so, so various ones among us have been there for things like eye tests, not not run of the mill eye tests, but the the sort of special ones that you do if you've got glaucoma and things like that, um, and various various simple things doing and and whatnot. And there we are. We're at we're at Squires Gate. So, I, well, Squires Gate Lane. So this cuts a really big chunk off rather than going all the way around the seafront. And Lytham Road is also a little bit quieter if you're looking for a more direct route. So that's Blackpool Airport straight in front of you. And we're going to go right at what looks like the turn off for Morrison's and TK Maxx. But in actual fact, it takes you into a quite big industrial estate at the back of where the retail park is and that's full of all kinds of different businesses it's really big um, this is Squires Gate Lane which is a dual carriageway up to the M55 so this takes you up to the roundabout junction with Eden Way if you were to carry on up here 
um, and there's all the different old aircraft hangars on the right hand side which are used for um, used for different businesses I don't know why that's ringing when I'm driving it's not supposed to send you send you rings is it when you're driving So this is the halfway house pub that's just been recently renovated. I'm saying recently, it was just before COVID. And in a second, we're going to turn right when these lights have changed. Oh, look, lots of little children. They're brilliant, those little buggies, aren't they? They're really good. So this is quite a good retail estate. This is the one where we got kicked out of Dunelm when we came with Muffin. Miseries. Last time I went in Dunelm, I spent 120 quid. And as we paid and walked away from the till, Kevin said, If you can bring dogs in, I said, Yes, exactly. People with dogs always end up spending money. So if you carry on past the, the shops and the supermarkets, you'll come into the industrial estate. So there's car garages. Round the corner is a big Warburton's bread depot. And we get just round this corner here. It's the very bumper road. There's one thing about bumpy roads, it does slow the traffic down. There you go, there's, there's uh, Warburton's in front of you. And we're going to go right here. We're going to follow, follow bump, 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 this van. This is Amy Johnson Way. So there's different manufacturing premises and office blocks and this is all part of the Blackpool Enterprise Zone. So if you relocate your business here, you get various different tax breaks and allowances and one thing and another. And this, when we get right round the corner, is not that one, not that one, not that one, this one. The one that you can see the flashing lights in front of us. This is Lightworks. This is where we're going to our meeting. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Make sure that you watch the separate video about the Lightworks look around and the press preview morning. We're going to go and uh, we're going to go and find out what we're going to be told. Look at all the bits of Odyssey. Look there at the back of the car park. Fascinating place. And don't forget, make sure that you've subscribed, make sure that you've hit the bell for notifications, make sure you've done all the signing up stuff, and we will see you next time. So from the lovely Lightworks, we'll see you later. Bye for now.